Hi, this is Michael, VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln, South Australia. A quick video for you. Today, I'm going to show you my progress with the MMDVM, Jonathan Naylor's multi-mode digital voice modem. Um, consists of two parts. On the Arduino Dew is the firmware, the MMDVM firmware, and that is the actual modem itself. On top of the Arduino, you can see a, a shield. This uh, is a board developed by KI6ZUM in the US, uh, commonly called a ZUM board. And uh, that's the uh, audio buffering interface op amps level control to and from the Arduino to radios and push to talk um, control as well. MMDVM host is running on a Raspberry Pi 2 uh, in the case next door. And uh, the radios I'm using, uh, this is my homebrew D-Star repeater that I built some time ago using a couple of Motorola MCS2000 radios. Um, and I did use it originally with a Satoshi GMSK modem board together with an interface which I, I developed some time ago to connect it to the ICOM D-Star repeater controller. At the moment, um, just some little uh, wires simply soldered onto the connectors to the existing radio cables there. So this MMDVM supports D-Star and DMR and Yaesu System Fusion. I'm using it in D-Star only mode, mainly because that's the only radios I have. I've got to get myself a DMR radio very soon. A lot of fun happening over on the Brandmeister DMR network, which can be directly supported with uh, MMDVM host. Now for D-Star connectivity, um, it connects to reflectors and gateways via IRC DDB gateway. Um, and I don't have it running on this Raspberry Pi. You can indeed run it on the Raspberry Pi, but I've got it running on a separate computer in my home in the office. And we can see that over here. I've got IRC DDB gateway running uh, on Windows. And we can see reflector, repeater, repeater 1 is linked to XRF21 Bravo. Saturday morning here, Friday night in the US, and uh, the Canadian D Star Net is on. In the background, you can see the terminal session into the Raspberry Pi, and that's MMDVM host. That's the output from that as it's running and receiving um, audio stream from the internet. Now, hopefully, if I turn up my radio here, we should be able to hear what's going on. There has been some issues with XRF21 Bravo, so you may hear some breaks in the audio. Um, I'm fairly confident that it's not me. There has been some issues with the reflector this morning. but uh, So I'm just finishing there over. Talk to us a little Dexter. We appreciate you checking in with us. Number one, um, you did not get anybody out of the system at all. It's the system itself tonight is uh, really acting up and uh, doing okay. some crazy stuff. So I'm not sure exactly what uh, what's happening here. Some people. I've also got, got the my D Star repeater VK5 REX linked up as well, and we can, that's on the radio in the background here. We've got that going. Yeah, sir. You can sort of hear some breaks in that audio as well. So I'm fairly sure that it's not the uh, the setup I have here. So I've set the deviation mainly by uh, by feel. Um, I, my radio test set is at work, so I haven't been able to accurately set the transmit deviation. So I'll be getting that in coming days. I've only been playing with this really for about the last week. Um, I've had the board for a long time, um, probably a couple of months now, and uh, finally got around to doing something with it. So I'm uh, looking forward to uh, setting this up permanently in here. I think I will m probably set this up as a DMR-only repeater. Um, we've already got D-Star repeater up at the hill, and I'll have to find a way to slot this in up at the hill and uh, get some frequencies, proper frequencies are allocated, and um, get a duplexer organized as well. But at the moment... Um, it seems to be working fairly, fairly well, quite stable. I did have some little niggling issues with um, setting up the software, and but that was just finger trouble mainly. You can hear that audio breaking up. Yeah, so the radio is just going into a dummy load up here. You can see we're putting out about five watts straight into a dummy load. So lots of fun with the MMDVM. Um, I'll keep you updated as uh, as I progress with this exciting experiment. Okay, seven three for now. This is Michael VK5ZDA. Talk to you again soon.